Round two of the 2013 IGA New South Wales National Premier League Men's 1 springs to life with stunning goals, late drama and cracking football. The Sutherland Sharks are at home for the first time this season when they host Sydney Olympic. The Blacktown Spartans look to continue their run as the giant killers of the competition when they meet the Body Rig White Eagles. The Central Coast Mariners Academy will look to get their first points of the season when they travel to Lambert Park. And our match of the round sees Sydney United 58 host the Rockdale City Suns at Jensen Park. The Sutherland Sharks took to Seymour Shore for the first time this season following their crushing 4-0 win over the South Coast Wolves. And their red-hot form continued when Perry Mustakas opened the scoring in just the 11th minute. Elsie Barkasi had a good chance to square the ledger in the 27th minute, but the striker couldn't finish. Sutherland could have had their second in the 38th minute, however Nathan Alassi saw his shot saved. Sydney Olympic again went agonisingly close to an equaliser in the 58th minute, but Shark defender Michael Stewart was on the spot to clear off the line. Olympic finally brought the game level in the 63rd minute, and it was through a very familiar source, with Elsie Barkasi continuing his early season form, finding the net once more. Just when Olympic thought they'd escaped Seymour Shaw with a point, Sharks midfielder Chris Naumov bobbed up to steal all three points five minutes into added time. The Sharks make it two from two and take it out 2-1 at home. The Blacktown Spartans were riding high as they travelled to the Bonnerick Sports Club after knocking off the 2012 championship winners Marconi last week. However, the Spartans were fortunate not to concede an early goal when Alex Chanak had his shot saved in the 15th minute. Bonnerig's early pressure paid off in the 36th minute when Chris Tadros opened the scoring after latching onto the loose ball. Bonnerig started the second half in dominant fashion once more when Robbie Yunus made it 2-0 with a neat header in the 57th minute. It would have been 3-0 just two minutes later if it wasn't for the heroics of Brenton Rhodes, whose last-ditch tackle prevented Long from scoring his second. But Bonnie Rigg did manage a third goal in the 83rd minute when Aaron Peterson put the game beyond doubt to give the home side the 3-0 win. The South Coast Wolves were looking to bounce back following a 4-0 thrashing at the hands of Sutherland last weekend as they travelled to Lily Home Stadium to meet Blacktown City FC. A quiet first half sprung to life just three minutes before the half-time break when Travis Major brought down the Wolves' Mitchell Del Turco in the box. Ricky Zuko took on the responsibility and put the penalty away to make it 1-0. Blacktown City FC had a penalty of their own just five minutes into the second half when Jack Keating brought down Travis Major who dusted himself off to make it 1-1. But the game wouldn't stay level for long, and just five minutes later, Joseph Laval put the South Coast Wolves back in front after Jack Keating's cross. The action didn't stop there, and the lead lasted just three minutes, when Sean Rooney restored parity with this stunner. Blacktown City FC had a chance late in the game, but Ruji Miyazawa was brilliantly tackled by Jack Keating before he could get the shot away. Apia had a chance in the 14th minute when Sean Simon found his way into the box, but could only find the side netting. They had an even better chance to go ahead a short time later, and Nikola Tanevsky should have done better, sending his shot wide. The Mariners made Apia pay for its missed opportunities in the 38th minute 
when Chris Pine chipped in beautifully. Nikola Tonesky made up for his earlier miss just after half time when he made it 1 1. Arpia should have hit the front in the 57th minute after Stephen Kays unleashed a rocket from the edge of the area, only for Jordan Nikolovsky to come up with a stunning save. So all square at Lambert Park, and the Central Coast Mariners Academy earned their first point with a one-all draw. After a shock loss to the Blacktown Spartans, 2012 championship winners the Marconi Stallions were at home to Manly, and they got off to the worst possible start when Sean Seville scored a superb volley after just three minutes. It got even worse just two minutes later when Manly had their second when Colin Eiley headed home. Marconi finally settled and had a half chance in the 12th minute when Taj Purcell crossed into the box but Manly cleared. Anthony Proyer should have put the home side on the board in the 28th minute but after finding himself clear he could only shoot over the bar. But Manly buried the contest in the 65th minute when Sean Seville scored his second goal with a great strike from outside the box. Three nil it ended to Manly and last year's championship winners with some work to do. This week's match the round sees Sydney United 58 at home to the Rockdale City Suns. Franco Kalina takes a defeat in his first game at the helm of the Suns and Mark Root and Sydney United 58 will be looking to make it 2 from 2 after their last cast win in round 1. They go down the right hand side. All goes bundling down, they'll get a free kick here. So here is Cardoso, what can he do with this free kick? Whips it in. Oh here's a chance, Urasevsky! So Bacchani goes long, trying to pick out a teammate. He can't find it. Oh, that's a great through ball for Sydney United. Here is Luca Clavas. Oh, puts it away nicely. Sydney United have the one 0 lead, and it's from a familiar source in Luca Clavas. And as we look at the replay from the in goal camera, you don't give a man of his stature, Luca Clavas, got a goal last week in round one. He's back on the board in round two. Sends it down the line to Perry. Back to Muriyama now, rocked out, trying to find the way back into this one. Well, Paul Kohler does well, winning possession. What can he do now, Kohler? Edge of the box, whips it in. Good looking cross, Cardoso! Rocked out, are back in it, 1-1. And a well taken goal, lovely cross from Paul Kohler. And Cardoso got up well and fired at home and we're 1-1. Oh, Urusevsky has sprung them. What can he do, Urusevsky? Rounds the keeper, trying to get a shot away. Oh, looks to have uh, taken a touch too much. Oh, it's come back to Perry. Yes! Rocked out, turning it on all of a sudden. They've got two in quick succession. And it's 2-1 suddenly at Jensen Park. Well, it looked as though Urusevsky had run out of room. He'd done well to beat a couple of defenders. But didn't he cut it back well? Look at the in-goal camera. And Rockdale have the lead. So suddenly, after being on top for large periods here, United needs something. Could be an opening here. He's got Glavas with him. Here is Triantis. Will he shoot? No. Glavas tees it up. Oh, Triantis goes tumbling down. So it looks like it'll be Trafiro to take. Here he is. Oh, great save, Barchena. It was destined for the top corner. That is top shelf. So suddenly, end to end at Jensen Park. Oh, that's a poor ball. Rockdale turn it over. Here is Robbie Molesky. Gets his head up well. Oh, sets Glavas clear. What can Glavas do? Cuts it back. Oh, Pavlovich. Muriawa goes long. Oh, nice little touch there from Kola. Here is Casey. Oh, thought he could have gone down. Looks like we bring it back though for the free kick. Whipped in. Oh, dangerous there it is. Oh, here's Casey with a chance. <laughs> so things getting frenetic here at Jensen Park tonight. Fans can't complain. They've seen plenty of action. Here's Pavlovich. 
can he do? Oh, pin of a handball there on Molesky. Puts it back to Pavlovich. Here's a chance. What can he do? Pavlovich into the box. Goes down. Penalty. It was Sindrick with the challenge. And as we look at the replay, there's a touch. Here is Glavas. Was on the sheet last week from the spot. What can he do here? Puts it away nicely. And suddenly we're back level at 2-2. And look at the in-goal camera. He scored last week late on to secure all three points. And Glavas made mo no mistake there. So United sent it over halfway. They did it last week. Is there a final twist here? Oh, it's fallen to Pavlovich. Don't tell me. He's done it. Sydney United 58 will take all three points again from another stoppage time winner. As we look at the end goal camera, well, it just fell to him nicely and he made them pay. And for the second week running, Sydney United 58 have found a winner in stoppage time. Well, there it is. It's full time here in our match of the round. Sydney United 58 3, Rockdale City Suns 2. An absolute thriller. And Sydney United 58 have found some way out of jail once again. Feeling's good. You know, to pick up three points again at the death again uh, tells you a little bit about the character of this team. And um, I'm delighted with the result. Uh, again, uh, there's room for improvement, uh, but as far as the boys are concerned, I'm, I'm awfully happy for them. Uh, the way they, they held themselves and the way, obviously, down two and at half time, fought back and um, got it right at death. So these boys don't give up, uh, and I love them for that. Um, great character shown again. Today was a bit uh, a bit hard first half, but for me personally, another two goals, penalty as well. So that's how I score most of my goals, but anyway, <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. good Positives result. from today, obviously, it was uh, a tough match, um, but at the end you got the, uh, yeah. the result. Yeah, very hard, especially first half, you know. Um, like Ruth said, I think uh, they wanted a little bit more in the first half, so, but in the second half we showed a lot of character and uh, we fought back and uh, we got it at the end, so it was pretty good, pretty pleasing. And what does it mean to be the captain of uh, oh, Club of It means a lot, man. I've been at the club since I was a kid. Growing up, you know, being a ball boy, went through everything, so now to be captain of the club, you know. It's a very proud moment for me, but um, you know, hopefully I can lead us to a good year and um, win the season. <laughs> Thank you very much, Luca. Good luck, mate. mate. Yeah, look, you know, I think up until the last maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, we were in control. Um, we we're in the box seat. We had a couple of chances to to bury the game. Um, you know, we've only got ourselves to blame for that. Even the goals we uh, we conceded, we've only got ourselves to blame. Um, but you know, I think that that second goal really really changed the, the momentum. Um, it was a clear handball, um, you know, everyone saw it, everyone knew it, um, and they've broken away, got into the box, penalty, and um, you know, it was a pen, That's, there's no doubt in that, but the lead up to it, it, was, it should have been a free kick. Looking at the results now from round two of the IGA New South Wales National Premier League Men's 1, Blacktown City FC shared the points with the South Coast Wolves with a two-all draw at Lillyholm Stadium. The Bonnie Rig White Eagles were too good for the Blacktown Spartans at the Bonnie Rig Sports Club with a 3-0 win. The Sutherland Sharks left it late but took all three points at home with a 2-1 win over Sydney Olympic. Arpia shared the points with the competition new boys, the Central Coast Mariners Academy, after a one all draw at Lambert Park. The 2012 Championship winners Marconi are off to a poor start with their second consecutive defeat, a 3-0 loss at home to Manly United. And in our match of the round at Jensen Park, Sydney United 58 were too strong for the Rockdale City Suns, winning 3-2. Looking at the ladder now after round two, and there's three teams clear at the top. Bonnery White Eagles sit in first place on goal difference. Sutherland Sharks in second. Sydney United 58 sit in third spot. Blacktown City FC in fourth spot on four points. Manly United in fifth spot with three. Next to them, Sydney Olympic with three points. And they're joined by the Blacktown Spartans in seventh, also on three points. The new boys of Central Coast Mariners Academy picked up their first points and they sit in eighth spot. Arpia Leichhardt Tigers in ninth with one point. The South Coast Wolves in tenth with one point. Lockdale City Suns sit in eleventh with no points. The Marconi Stallions, last year's championship winners, sit last on the table, yet to register a point in 2013. Well, checking out all the Round 3 action in the IGO New South Wales National Premier League Men's 1. Friday the 29th of March sees Manly United host the Blacktown Spartans at Cromer Park. The Sutherland Sharks travel to Lambert Park to take on the Arpia Leichhardt Tigers. 
Saturday the 30th of March sees the Bonnery White Eagles take on the Central Coast Mariners Academy at Bonnery Sports Club. The South Coast Wolves are at home against Sydney United 58 at John Cream Park. Sunday the 31st of March and Sydney Olympic are at home against Blacktown City FC. And rounding out the round, both sides still looking for their first points of the year. The Rockdale City Suns host the Marconi Stallions at the Linden Sports Centre. That's all we have time for for this week's show. And make sure you tune in to Football New South Wales next week for the Round 3 action, which includes our match of the round between Sydney Olympic and Blacktown City FC. See you then. Football New South Wales would like to thank its sponsors, IGA, Subway, Coca-Cola, Elastoplast, Foxtel, Hummel and Nike, the official ball sponsor of the IGA New South Wales National Premier League's Men's One.